Quantum Astrophysics, Part 2b4, Entropy via the Space-Time Continuum. Now that we have examined the various different features of our space-time continuum that exceed into the future or supersede into the past, let us more closely examine the nature of our own present event in the local universe. To do this, we will be looking at the process of matter-energy exchange for a single quanta of space as it changes over time. From the point at which the continuum's photon surface forms from a positron-electron pair bond until the point at which it has recycled through its entire possible history of phase changes and once again reforms into a photon from a positron-electron pair bond, we will be looking at 18 stages. In order to familiarize ourselves with this model for the surface of our space-time continuum, we begin by depicting space as a black line above and time as a blue line below, while we measure the activity of the present moment as a series of phase changes to a single quanta of space over time in red. Later, we will also add solid matter in green to the red field of energy between black space and blue time. 1. We begin by seeing the surface of the space-time continuum as we might imagine it to occur usually as a basis. As such, we see time below, closer to the past, and space above, closer to the future with regular, straight, and directionally alternating red field lines of pure tachyonic energy between them. This composition constitutes the moment of universal critical mass following the division of the four forces one Planck time after the Big Bang. 2. Time begins to bow upward toward space and assumes a bell curve wavelength because space exerts gravity. Gravity warps the motion of photons, and photons measure the surface of space-time over light years. We see the usual beginnings of thermodynamic heat and cooling occurring as convex and concave currents. These signify the original motions in space over time of the particles of the four forces. 3. The so-called standard arrow of entropy determining the measurement of time as change in a forward motion of space begins to arise as a result of extreme gravitational warping to time by the particles of the four forces of space, dividing the convex currents outside in the future from the concave currents inside the past. 4. This results in the formation of tachyons as the first form of energy prior to the existence of any form of solid matter, precursor to the formation of the four force elemental particles. Tachyons form a pair bonding combination of entropic time with the currents of temporal energy to form temporary solid matter from pure time. 5. Our own local universe's history begins when matter forms, seemingly from a form of more eternal energy that exists prior to the creation of our own space-time in the form of a temporal singularity. Inside this temporal singularity, space-time, our own universal reality, will begin to expand and to grow ever more complex on its surface. 6. The measure of space over time in the form of photon light years begins with the event of space time breaking off from time, between time and space. Inside this event is where space time will begin to grow, and outside it remain the faster than photon energy of tachyons. 7. At the first moment of time, there is a random quantum fluctuation that occurs as the time inside the event that broke off from the timeline surface of time-space to move toward the surface of space-time 
breaks through the surface of space to form the effect of gravity, the inversion of tachyon energy into hyperspace antimatter. 8. From this random quantum fluctuation, or Big Bang event, when time's pure energy transforms through space into solid matter, which is then transformed back into energy over time, the original creation of matter with mass occurs. This is the formation of the space-time singularity of a local or baby universe from the greater continuum of a time-space multiverse. 9. The effect of matter with mass forming above the surface of space is, on the surface of space, identical to the effect of space on time, that being gravity, or rather, a similar form of attractive, rather than repulsive, force. In the case of tachyons between time and space, they flow one way, while in the case of matter from within space over time, the motion of their flow's effect is another, specifically such that they are at right angles to one another, resulting in subquantum friction. 10. As matter affects a gravitic force warping the surface of space, it causes the energy of tachyons between space and time to froth into what is called zero-point energy, or quantum foam, smaller than the smallest known solid matter quanta, on a sub-quantum scale, smaller than a micron, both faster and slower than light. This causes time to assume a regular waveform pattern, such as its passage in cycles as we experience it today. 11. Matter from its own point of view, seems thus to emit gravity waves that attract rather than repel other solid matter. The usual forms of less solid energy waves that permeate all space between objects of matter are all repulsive, but gravity constricts the angular momentum of otherwise asymptotically free particles to pull them into automatically self-limiting circular colonies of like particles. 12. At this point, we reach our own present place in this measurement of the history of all eternal time. When matter has penetrated gravitationally through the surface of space-time into the tachyonic energy of time-space, past critical mass, and begun to form a surrounding layer a multiverse bubble of baby universes. Spiral galaxies of stars form around black holes that puncture through space-time into time-space. 13. The exact measurement of critical mass as the ratio of time between the present and the Big Bang is also related to the duration between the Big Bang and critical mass. This 1 to 2 over 3rd Ratio can be expressed as the mass of any object of matter multiplied by the speed of photons in a vacuum squared, summing to the amount of energy equivalent to that mass of matter over time. The local universe of matter, thus, plus the entire multiverse of tachyon energy beyond and within it, combine to form the rate of space-time, the speed of photons in a vacuum as a light year. 14. By the gravitic bending of space-time by the influence of the mass of matter, which occurs in the form of distorting, bending, warping, etc., the vectors of photons, altering them from the exactly straight ray of light in a total vacuum, a similar trans-temporal and hyperspatial warping occurs above the speed of light within time-space outside the local universe of matter-energy. 15. When we measure time as partially distorted by, and space as totally relative to, the concept of matter-energy defining the limit of our space-time continuum, we observe then the optical illusion that our local universe is expanding over time, 
when in truth it is the same size as the original singularity event of random quantum fluctuation called the Big Bang. It has just simply grown more complex upon its surface. 16. What we see here, thus, is actually occurring in the exact same 1D singularity in time as all the others, even though here we are observing details at a different depth of the cross-section of space. Although the local universe of matter-energy, our own space-time continuum, appears to expand, it is only due to more distortion occurring to the measurement of time. A light year can't be a constant with a variable speed of light. 17. As we see, the local universe of matter, the seemingly expanding globe of green between the blue bubbling surface of time and the wavelength of average space, is not truly expanding, only becoming more complex as a reflection on its surface of the distortion to the constant timeline base unit. As the tachyon energy around the outside of the local matter energy universe approaches asymptotic particle liberation velocity of excitation, the local universe appears to expand, but is really only reflecting a more complex form of pattern occurring beyond light speed outside of matter energy between space and time. 18. At this point, our own local universe appears as it does to us in the present, with a layer of space inside a layer of time. Space is moving one direction, and time is moving the opposite direction, and there is a dynamic stasis of equally opposite directional total vacuum velocity tachyons between them. Such comprises the surface of the nulliverse that surrounds the multiverse that surrounds our local universe, that surrounds our galaxy, that surrounds a black hole, that is surrounded by wormholes, and which, in turn, surrounds a baby universe as a reflection of the galaxy. When we take a cross-section of a graph plotted according to the conditions of space as a flat surface operating in the opposite direction of a flat timeline, the result is what I call a rolling boil graph, because as the water of tachyon energy between the surface of space and the timeline vessel boils, and a mass of matter is added into the boiling water of gravitic tachyons, the result is the apparent expansion of the material reality, when in truth it is only reflecting a more complex distortion to the continuum surrounding it. Quantum Astrophysics Part 2b5 Cosmology Our Current Universe To reiterate what was said also before, there are six layers of study of this diagram. Between the realm of a planet orbiting a star and the realm of the Tau sub Tau tesseract, measuring motion of a 3D shape, energy over matter squared, over time as a metaform, all matter energy at the speed of light squared. The outermost layer we have touched on was Tau sub Tau, which should be familiar also to those of us who have studied Kabbalah as the realm beyond the outermost emanation of the ten sephirot, defined as Atzaluth of Ein Light, Ein Sof, Clear Light, and Ein Sof Or, the primary clear light. As we descend inward toward our own place upon earth in the here and now, from the outermost measure of all time as eternity, we approach closer to our own cosmos having formed from the Big Bang and the division of four forces, past critical mass into the form of the modern local universe of matter energy surrounded by a multiverse of tachyons, we descend past the measure of space over time toward the moment of the event of alignment between the Andromeda and our own Milky Way galaxies, toward the fourth arm out from the core of the Milky Way where our planet Earth orbits our star, the Sun, and then we retreat back to the outermost levels of time beyond material reality in Tao sub Tao. 
we now know the black Tau sub Tau tesseract to embody the cubed square of time surrounding the green Aleph sub Omega hypersphere of space seen down the red wormhole center of time along the Aleph sub Sigma orbs core toward the blue Aleph sub N Taurus shaped cycle of cosmic time where our present multiverse in black on the left exchanges places with the nulliverse of pure tachyon energy on the right via the perpetual engine of creation in green in the center causing an ever-expanding and simultaneously contracting singularity to grow more complex a reflection on its surface such is the nature of all matter with mass in space over the entire eternity of all time. Yet we can also graph the same six levels of dimensional directions along an expanding space chart instead of within the layered levels of size scales plotting expansion over time. This is what the physical material universe can look like when we extend the directional dimension of space rather than time where by scale of relative size we have subquantum baby universes within supermassive black holes bubbling away our local universe of voids and filaments of galaxies surrounding our own Milky Way inside which are our star, moon, and our own planet, Earth. Religious Metaphysics A lecture by Jonathan Barlow Gee